You know, the Kenyans, the, the, the pastors in Kenya have been saying, look, don't you bring your homosexual talk here. If you're going to come over here and talk about homosexuality, pack it up and go home. We don't want to hear it. You know, homosexuality is still against the law in Kenya. 14 years prison time if you're caught in the act. It's a criminal offense in Kenya, as it used to be everywhere in the United States of America from the time of our founding until 1962. All 50 states, it was a felony offense. A still a felony offense in 49 states until 1972. And Antonin Scalia said it was still against the law in 24 states in 2003 with the Lawrence v. Texas ruling. So the Kenya pastor said, look, stay out of our business. Stay out of our life. We've got values here as a nation. President Obama blown all that off. I'm going to bring my message of, I'm going to advance the case, a cause of homosexuality. In fact, I would suggest to you that President Obama's legacy is going to be that he has done more to export sexual deviancy than any American in the history of the republic. That's going to be his legacy. This will be the man that exported sexual deviancy, that made the exportation of sexual deviancy the most dangerous product that the United States ever shipped overseas. It's going to be President Obama's legacy. So he's going to plow right over all of those requests that he leave that topic alone, let us figure that out. He's not going to do that. He's going to go over there and he's going to push the normalization of homosexual behavior on the Kenyan people. 